What, what would you say is a typical profile of somebody that is actually going to build a home? Versus maybe like a resale buyer. Like, what are those differences you're, you're seeing? Or yeah. maybe even, you know, that's like a prep. Like, am I ready to do this? Right. What, what are some of the things that you think somebody's got to be ready for financially, personally, mentally? Yeah. For a, you know for, a, for a custom home. And, yeah. And, and let's be honest, most custom homes on raw land are, you know, above that jumbo mortgage sure. rate. So they're either moving in and bringing equity with them. Okay. Through either a 1031 or a previous sale, and then they've got the equity, or they're a second or third time home buyer, okay. or they're looking for their forever home, or they're looking for a mini farm, or you know just some land to get out of a neighborhood. But it's very rarely a custom home for that first time home buyer. Okay, perfect. So um, have done this before. Have some cash or capital. Right. Right. So, and if we talk about cash or capital, can we just throw a percentage number? So let's just say you're going to build a $2 million home. Right. How much cash capital do you think somebody should kind of have? You know, and that can change, right? I mean, it could right. be a lot more, a lot less, but is there kind of like a number where you think people should have set aside? They ne- usually need to bring cash into this transaction if they want to go build a $2 million home. Yeah. I mean, obviously, um, I'm not the mortgage professional. We rely, sure. we rely on you, right, right. you yeah. guys for that stuff. But I mean, 20%, I believe, is a good number. Okay. Um, especially in a custom home market. Um, that way you've got enough money for your down payment. That way you've got enough money for um, that Viking stove that you like or something, some upgrade. But 20%, probably a pretty good number for, for having cash on hand okay. to, to start a build. To start a build. Yep. 